Hi, welcome to Julius Bar. Today we're gonna mix an idea cocktail. An idea cocktail traces its origin to the Floridita, the bar in Cuba that have also so many connections to Ernest Hemingway. It's a really tiny cocktail, so much so that I doubt Ernest Hemingway ever had just one of these. I could have five, he probably could have like 30 or 40. Anyway, let's mix it in the original proportion and then you will decide if you like to have it double or have it like as the original recipe says. We are going to need some grapefruit juice, 30 milliliters. Original recipe actually says a fourth of a grapefruit, but let's measure it for precise size. So 30 milliliters of grapefruit juice. Then we go on with one teaspoon of Luxardo Maraschino, which is also something that was in the Floridita Daiquiri, which is one of my favorite drink. Oh, this is, it was a big teaspoon, but I think it's okay. And then we have the vermouth, both red and white, sweet and dry. 10 milliliters only, a third of an ounce. Ten milliliters of carpano antica formula and ten milliliters of carpano dry. My two vermouth of choice for most drinks. Of course, if Mr. Carpano or whoever distributed or on it want to sponsor this YouTube channel, you're more than welcome. And then the gin. Also, the gin should come at ten milliliters. But because I find this drink really light on alcohol, I'm going to use this uh, single cask, slightly aged gin, which is barrel proof at 57.7%. It's Victorian Watt from Kingsbury. It's something probably you can find only in Japan. You call substitute for any other overproof gene possibly i would suggest a smooth gene a dry gene but not with too much juniper in it and we are done let's give this bad boy a shake we are gonna need some ice straining our tiny cocktail glass. You want to fine strain to get the ice out and also the the red fruit pulp. And there you go, an ideal cocktail as done following the original recipe from the Floridita. Cheers! This is just nice. It's pretty light. It's not sweet. The sweet vermouth combines perfectly with the grapefruit juice and those are the two most significant flavors at play here. The gin and the dry vermouth are subdued. The Luxardo just give a touch of uh, sweetness to a drink that's otherwise fairly dry, actually. Really, the Luxardo teaspoon is just enough to counterbalance the bitterness from the 
and grapefruit juice. But as you can see, with this size, three sips, and this cocktail is gonna be gone. I will really suggest you make it double. I will make it a double. I can drink two of this. On the other side, it's this sizing it's really nice as a light aperitif just to open up your meal have uh, some snake ah you're supposed actually to serve it with almonds do you have any almonds have these mixed nuts there are some almond inside the side of almond is a classic from the floridita Mm, yeah, almonds and grapefruit go great together. Yeah, really nice. And I guess I'm gonna reserve the last sip for the goodbye. Please like, subscribe, comment down below, shake yourself a drink, maybe and do whatever you want. And hopefully I will see you next time. Cheers. Actually, this video was supposed to be part of a series called Free Cuban Cocktails Better Than Mojito. And Guilio was supposed to star in it. But then Guilio decided that his top priority was bashing the Amanatsu in uh, his last uh, video. And so I guess the series of uh, three Cuban cocktails which are better than Mojito is going to be left to me. First one of this one. Two more videos to follow soon. See you.